everybody. Welcome to Knowledge by Nature. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I just want to take a minute and say thank you to all of you that have been subscribing. There's quite a few that have added the last few weeks and I am just so excited to have every one of you. And welcome to my team. I'm so super excited. So today we're going to be looking into all about reading level two. I wanted to kind of do a flip through of this so that if you're interested in finding a really good reading program, this one right here works great for us. We really like it. We used pre-kindergarten, which is like Ziggy Zebra, he's yellow, and then we used level one for kindergarten, and now we are moving to level two for first grade. Before we zoom in and get started, I do want to let you know that this is going to be a two-part video. So today's video is going to be part one, and it's going to be a look through of everything that you're going to need to get started in this program. And then the second video is going to be a more detailed look at what a lesson plan looks like, as well as we're going to flip through the activity book. I didn't want this to be an insanely long video, but I wanted it to be thorough because I know when I'm looking for curriculum, I want to know what I'm getting into. And so... Make sure that you come back tomorrow if you want to see what a detailed lesson looks like as well as what all is involved in the activity book. Before we zoom in on this flip through, give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of video and consider pushing that subscribe button if you are enjoying the content. So let's zoom in and get a closer look at this. So all about reading level two, you are going to need to purchase the teacher's manual and a student packet. With the student packet, you're going to get this activity book and you are going to get this little stack of goodies right here. In the student pack it comes with the activity book, the phonogram cards, the word cards, the syllable tags, and the stickers for the progress chart. So here is the activity book and this is the color edition in case anybody is curious about that. Here is the little syllable tags, and so I need to pop these out. One thing, I haven't popped all this stuff out yet, but I will be doing that very soon. Here's the little frog stickers that will go on the progress chart, which is inside the activity book, and I will show you that. And then we have all of our cards. So the yellow cards are phonogram cards. So you're going to tear these out and it's really, they're perforated, it's really, really easy to do. So you just take them, tear them apart, I don't want to rip them so I'm going to put it down like this and then you can do them each. And it, you'll see up here we have phonogram card one, three, five, seven, so where I ripped off was two, four, six. Eight. So then you always know which one that they're talking about because inside the lesson it will tell us phonogram card one. Show them on the backs. There are little notes here. So it says sound m, mm, and then it gives you a keyword of a word that would make that sound. And sometimes that is really helpful, um, especially when you get into the vowels to be able to give them a really good explanation of what you are talking about. And so here's all of the yellow cards and they all have the notes on the back of them. So those are phonogram cards. Then all the green ones are level two word cards. And as you can see, there are quite a few pages here. And again, these are numbered. So we have all about reading level two color edition. So that's really nice. If you happen to like buy a different edition, you would know what edition you're dealing with here. Lesson two, Word card one, lesson two, word card two. So it's really, really easy to keep them all in order. On the second page, you see the frog. That means that this is a leap word, also known as a sight word. So I know sight words are something that um, a lot of us have heard, but with All About Reading, they call it a leap word. And so anytime that the child sees the frog, they're gonna know that these don't actually sound exactly like like what they're thinking, and so it's going to be a leap word, not one that they can necessarily sound out. And so that's very helpful. You can see that's a big difference when you go to pull it out. They see right off the bat that something is a little bit different, and we don't have any notes on the back of the green cards, but sometimes we do have little notes here. So like craft. Kim did a craft 
at camp. And you might read this sentence to your child so that they are for sure understanding what you might be referencing here. You. Did you ask? And so that's very um, handy. And again, super easy. They are all perforated, so you can take those out really easy. One thing that you are going to need to go with these cards is some way to store them. Um, last year, we used the little yellow box all about reading. I can go grab that really quick. One minute. So in the pre-reading set that we got, there was this little activity box that held everything for what we needed. And so I actually just used this box again for um, kindergarten. But then there's, as you can see, this it's full now. And so I couldn't use this for this upcoming year. And so you can see here's the size difference. This says all about spelling. One, I did get all about spelling for this year, so we're going to have that. But you could get all about reading, and I believe it was this yellow box that it, that comes in a larger size. She prefers blue, and I know that I'm going to be able to hold quite a few years in this. And so I went ahead and just got the blue. It comes with these little foam spacers so that if you don't have... Um, a bunch of cards yet. They're not like flying all around. And then I did buy the different dividers here. And so this is actually the all about spelling dividers. So I will get those out of the way because these are the dividers that I will keep using. So the dividers that came with um, all about reading, you can use throughout the whole time. And so we have phonogram cards review, phonogram cards mastered, Phonogram cards, future lessons. So that's where all the yellow cards are going to go. And then we have word cards review, word cards mastered, word cards, future lessons. And so I will take all of these out and I will add them to the back of this and I will keep these for a little bit. That's one thing I'm not 100% sure if I need to hold on to these. So I am going to hold on to them for just a little bit while we're working on level two, just in case I need to come back to these for some reason. But I have all these phonograms right here. Some of these may be new, like that. We don't have oi in level one. So it's not that they're duplicates. They are, these are additional ones. So I don't know that I'm going to need all of these, but again, I'm not getting rid of these yet. Sorry. Ramble fun. So get these out of the way. And so what I was saying is you will need a box. You don't have to buy the all about spelling box or the all about reading box. You can find one of these, but I got to looking around and ordering online and there was very little price difference. And then these I knew fit the cards exactly. And I would just have the box. I'd have the spacers. I'd have it done with. So I just bought it. I think it was like $10.95 to get the actual box that comes with, but you don't have to have this. You can use any index card and you would be good to go. I will punch all of these out. I will put them in the box under the correct tab. And of course, everything starting off is going to go under the review, you know, because we won't have mastered anything. We'll just be getting, we'll just be beginning. So everything will actually be in that first thing, but I do need to go ahead and get these all out. So there are some things that I need to prep up before we are actually ready, but we have, let's see how many cards we have here actually. Um, our very last card is card 292. So we have 292 green word cards for level two. Now, let's see. So we went through the student packets. Let's go into the teacher's manual here. So you will need a teacher's manual. And this is a multi-sensory program, which means that they're going to be using their hands for moving stuff and you know sorting different things we're going to have the cards and then we have a step-by-step -step lesson plan teaches all key reading skills mastery based and customizable it is very very customizable so take your time with it if you need to go at this go at the pace that your child needs so let's zoom in here to the contents all right, so on the contents, we have preparing for level two, what you should know, and this just kind of helps you set it up. So if you've never used All About Reading before, and let's say you're coming in a new homeschooler, but you don't have a new one, and so you have a first, second, whatever grade, and you take, you go online and you take their test so that you know where to start out at. This helps you to no matter what level you're jumping in at, maybe you didn't do pre-K, maybe you didn't do K, maybe you didn't do first, um, 
so you're going to come in here and you're you're going to know right off the bat what you need to do and then we have the step two which is the complete step-by-step -step lesson plans and this really does spell it out for you so easily for a teacher that's one of the things that when i am looking for curriculum some of it may be teacher intensive and i don't mind that at all but I want it to be pretty clear for me that every time that I walk in and we go to have class, it's going to be easy and I'm going to know what to do. And all the lessons follow exactly the same format, which is very helpful. So we have 57 lessons here for level two. And then we have the appendix where this has some more lesson ideas, some activities for you to do. Very helpful. Please, please, please read your book and really set yourself up to be successful at this. So here we go, let us show you. So you can even get on your tablet or your phone, watch it, you don't even have to read it, but if you do wanna read it, here we go. So it tells you that you're gonna need a student packet, you're gonna need an interactive kit. So that's gonna be your letter tiles, your divider cards, your phonogram sounds app, reading review box, um, oh, this is actually saying you could get the deluxe kit and so you would get the box with the deluxe kit and you get the tote bag with the deluxe kit. I got the deluxe kit with um, the very like pre-reading and I didn't need the tote so I haven't gotten the deluxe kit since. And then we have the readers which are these two guys right here. It has What Am I and Queen Bee. And then the teacher's manual that we're looking at right now. And then you either need the letter tiles app or a magnetic whiteboard. And when you buy one of the kits, you only have to buy it once. And it comes with all of the tiles that you're going to need. And I can actually run and get my tile board too. We didn't go with the app because she is tactile. She wants to move the things. We want to see it physically. So for us, we use this. Even though... I'm sure if you had multiple children, it might be difficult to keep up with all of your pieces. For us, it's not hard. We know that, hey, these are the tiles. We're not going to take them across the house. These are what, so that is something you might want to consider is if you have a bunch of little hands that might want to grab these, they are going to probably be easily lost. And so maybe the app works better for you. For us, we like the hands-on, so we stick with the tile board, and I will go grab that real quick too. All right, so I will hold this up for you for a minute because it's gonna fall over, but here's the magnetic tile board that we got. This is what it's gonna look like at the end of level one. You have all of the letters, you have your consonants and your vowels that are colored, you have consonant teams over here, some other tiles, and then with the first kit, it came with all of the tiles that you're gonna need. So these were my future tiles that I just put in a little Ziploc baggie. And then I had another little baggie that I held all of level one's tiles at until we got ready for them. So for quite some time, we didn't have all of these initially. We only had the first and then we added to it. We added extra S's as we went along with working with plurals. We added extra E's. We added extra consonant teams as we went. And so we introduced those as we went. So this is very simple to use as it's, we've got this magnetic whiteboard. And so you would just pull down the letter if you're gonna spell something. And then we would kind of space them out. M, ah, m, and we would blend them and work along with that. And then you can just simply roll them back up in here. Right now they're very tight. Usually they're a little more spaced out this, than this. But again, you can just take them down build whatever you want, and so the child can actually touch, blend it, put it all together. And then we have our consonant teams, so just like that. So super simple, but again, if you're worried about using, if you're worried about losing the little tiles, or your child just isn't very concerned about like actually touching and moving the, the things, then the app may be what's good for you. All right, so like I said, when I purchased the level one kit, it came with all of the tiles that I would need. And so these are all the future tiles. These are the ones that, you know, I may not use all of these for level two. Some of this be maybe level three, 
but it comes with these little tiles and I have already applied all the magnets to the back of them so they are ready to go whenever and then here we can see I have more magnet tiles in case like some of those get taken off but you will want to find a good way to kind of store these so that they stay safe and you can pull them out easily when it's ready to go. And then you're just going to need some common materials. If you are homeschooling, you more than likely have all of these things. So you have scissors, a stapler, and two small baggies for using the physical letter tiles. So you will just need to decide. You can always, um, I can't remember how much the app is, but you can get on there. You can download it and, um, you know, you, you don't even have to worry about purchasing the magnetic board. You don't have to mess with the tiles. You just would get the app. Then we go into what you should know about this program. And so it, it's just very good. It breaks it down, how you would do it, the learning process. And it talks about the five key components of reading. And this is also built upon the teaching for children that might be dyslexic and things like that. So this is a great program. I chose this program because I didn't want to lump reading in with other things because there is another program that looks very enticing and I've looked at it multiple times. It's very similar to this. I chose this because I didn't want to have to maybe worry about, well, maybe we weren't on the same level with our handwriting. Maybe we weren't on the same level with our grammar. Maybe we needed to slow down and by slowing down with this, we were gonna be slowing down the others when we didn't necessarily need to. And so that's why I have separated reading from having anything else to do with it. We have our own separate grammar. We have our own separate writing curriculum. This is solely reading. Reading and math are my highest priorities. I want to make sure that we are doing those and we're doing them at the speed that she needs. And so here we go. Is your student at the right level? So you can go down through here and you're going to ask the child all these questions. If they are able to complete all of these, then yes, your student is at the right level. Of course, you don't have to purchase this curriculum before you get this. You can go online to their website and you can get these levels on there. So here's how did your student do. Then you're going to preview the teacher's manual. And so there's always going to be a new concept lesson. And then there's going to be a read a story lesson. And so we will get into that. And then there's before you begin, there's a cream colored box that contains an overview of the lesson. And it's meant only for you, the teacher. And that is, let me just show you that right now. Let me find the lesson. There's a lot of things at the beginning that really help you get started. Okay, here we go. Here's this cream dialogue box that they were talking about. This is for you to read through at the beginning so you know what you're going to be discussing. Okay, you don't read this to the child. You read this. It tells you what tiles you need, what, um, what you're going to need. So you're going to need the leap into reading pages. You're going to need the closed and open syllable tags. That's what these guys are. You're going to need your phonogram cards. That's your yellow cards and you're gonna need a progress chart, which is over in the activity sheet, and we will see that in a minute. You're gonna review, okay, so beginning with lesson two, you'll give your student a quick review of previously taught concepts. So I'll pull this over here. This is where I would be like, okay, let's review these. These are the last ones we were working on, and so I would show them, I would have her give me the sound, and we would go through there, and then we can go through the review cards the word cards and so we would not read all of these I would choose a few of them and we would review like maybe the last few things that we were talking about things like that then you're going to have your new teaching and this is the hands-on portion of the lesson your student will work with the letter tiles and activity sheets while completing comprehension vocabulary and fluency exercises then after every single time you're going to have 20 minutes of read aloud time so you Set a timer however long you want to work on your lesson. You don't necessarily have to finish an entire lesson. Set a timer. Say you want to work on reading for 15 minutes, whatever your child's level is at. Set a timer for 15 minutes. However far you get, you get. And then you're going to have extra read aloud time. So you're always going to have however long your lesson was plus 20 minutes. It's very important that you read aloud because they're hearing vocabulary. They're hearing the way that you read. And so they're going to comprehend more words because they're hearing those words maybe before they're introduced to those words. And then you're going to track your progress, which is a really fun time to put your little 
frog on the sticker chart, which is, let's just go ahead and look at that. This is in the activity book. And look how cute this little activity book is. So cute. So you're gonna have this little frog with all his lily pads and you're gonna put a frog on each lily pad. And so this is super fun to do. The child has a blast with this. So right here, it says, don't feel like you must push through an entire lesson in one sitting if your student isn't ready. Do what is best for your student. This is highlight it, highlight it, highlight it, guys, because this is where last year we were doing so good. We flew through the first few, well, over half through the lessons. We flew through like 25 or 30 of the lessons, and then, boy, it's like we hit a wall. We just were like, oh, my goodness. You know, we were having no problem busting out a lesson, and then it was all of a sudden our stories got really long, and the frustration was getting high, and I felt like, oh, no, we need to finish this lesson. We need to finish this lesson today. And it was rushing her. She was getting frustrated. I was getting frustrated. And so then I was actually looking at even going into a new curriculum. Oh, no, this isn't working for us anymore. I went back to this curriculum and I reviewed my teacher's manual. And there's so much information in here, guys. So much good stuff. Pretty much if you get stuck on anything, they've got an answer for it. And they had an answer for many of our issues. It fixed it up so well, and so the idea of another curriculum went out the door. This was what we always liked. I just needed to realize that, hey, girl, slow down. She's not ready to finish a whole thing at once. That's okay. That is okay. It's not a big deal. And at the back of the book, I will show you some of the extremely helpful material that is in here. And just so you know, I'm not sponsored, or this is all, they don't have any idea I'm doing this. This is just all my opinions and my comments, so take it as you will. <laughs> now we've got preview the activity book, which is this little guy right here, Leap into Reading. We have the progress chart, which is right here. Then it says the read aloud record. And then we have our activity sheets, warm up sheets, practice sheets and the certificate of achievement is at the back and so I will show you that here we go so with every all about reading you get a certificate of achievement and so it says awarded to and what level it is and so that's pretty special that you can give that to them at the end and then we will look at these other things but I kind of want to get into a lesson so it makes a little bit more sense maybe so we have the progress chart here. So after you complete level one, you would put the little sticker on lily pad one. We've got, it's talking about the read aloud record. Has a lot more notes about that. The activity sheets, what a warm up sheet looks like. Practice sheets. And so it shows you little images of each one on here. It talks about all of it. And then the preview of the readers. These readers are really, really cute, too, um, which I liked the first ones. Level one was cute, too, but I think the fact that they can just read so much more is helping as well. But I really, really like um, level two here. And so we have 14 stories in volume one. And so you have these cute little characters in there, cute little drawings. The stories just look really, really fun this time. I think it's gonna be super cute. And so the end, and then you would go to the next one. So we have volume one, and queen B is volume two. So it even gives you little notes here. It says the first time a student reads a story is called cold reading. The student may read choppily, one word at a time. This is normal because the student is working very hard at decoding many of the individual words. Don't expect smooth reading during the cold reading. And then it talks about how students would benefit from repeated reading. And then it talks about all of the like different comprehension questions and things that are in there. So you're going to prepare your box. This is saying, one, you need a box. Then you need some divider cards. You need to get your phonograms and your word cards out. And then it tells you about the leap words, also known as sight words. And then it talks about that over here in level two that we have 32 leap words. And it talks a little bit more about them. 
Here we have set up the letter tiles. And so here's the app. It shows you how to set that up or here's how to set it up with the physical letter tiles. One thing that you can get is um, a phonogram app. So if you're using this, they have a free phonogram app that you can go on and you can click the sound. You can click the letter and it tells you the sound. So that's really nice that the student could go there if you wanted to like make sure that you were pronunciating it correctly. It says right here, can't decide which tool to use. Consider which one would be most engaging for your student based on his or her current preferences. For example, does your student prefer colored pencils or does she like video games? Is your student used to using technology for learning or more comfortable with traditional methods of learning? Prefer ebooks or paper books? And don't forget to consider your preferences as well. Do you like the larger format of the magnetic whiteboard and physical tiles? Are you going to go crazy if they're not in order or if they're all over the place? You know, you know what works best for you too. So if it's something that's just, if this letter tile board is not going to work for you, don't get the letter tile board. Get the, get the app. If you don't like using things on applications and computers, don't mess with it. Get you the board and you'll be good to go. So you can't go wrong with either one of them. So we have all the little letter tiles. It kind of breaks down if you're using the physical letter tiles, which you're going to need. You're going to get you some baggies. And then this is going to show you how I'm going to set up the whiteboard for the first lesson. Then I'm going to take out the syllable tag sheets and then I am going to need to add magnets to the back of these. It tells you what all of these colors mean. So it says you'll learn about each category when you get into it for the lessons. So I mean, they really aren't missing anything here. And it goes down with all of these like different tiles, different things that rules that you would break down into. And this is where you can get the free sounds app. Then you have a letter tiles app and then the chart. Okay. Then how much time, which I kind of already went through this, but it says spend 20 minutes per day reading. So right here, 20 minutes per day. Okay. So they're, they're suggesting that you start your lessons with 20 minutes. If you're not done when 20 minutes are up, don't worry. But I got to tell you, if you've got a younger student, because some students, you know, they may be really little when they're reading at level two, who knows? So Go with what your student needs to, you know, if 10 minutes is their max, stop at 10 minutes, work your way up slowly. So if you don't, if you're not sure 20 minutes plus 20 minutes can get it, start slow, add to the time, add to the time. Reading aloud for 20 minutes a day may not seem like a lot, but... By reading aloud for just 20 minutes a day over a five-year period, your student will have the advantage of 600 hours of read-alouds. That equates to huge gains in vocabulary, comprehension, and background information. So that's a very, very good reason to read aloud. Okay, so this will wrap up video number one. So remember, please come back and join me tomorrow so that you can see a more detailed look at what we're going to be covering for a lesson plan, as well as what all we're going to see inside this activity book. So if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow.